doing? Oh, just uh, sit down and pretend that I'm not here. But you are here. I'm like looking right at you. No, no, no. I just mean like pretend that I'm not here and then talk directly into the camera like you used to. You want to do this again? Really? You? Alright, okay. Scoot up. Alright, this time, it's gonna be different. How? Well, for starters, this is a confessional space. So, everyone can come in here and they can say whatever they want in a safe and private place. Why would they want to do that? Can you just give it a try? Just let it come to you. Hey. Mm. Please. Please. Okay. <sighs> Just, you're gonna have complete privacy, so, I don't know, just be yourself. Nobody's gonna bother you. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. Let's go. Um, well, out you go then. Bye. Oh. Yep, let's oh, go. Yeah. Let's go okay. see. All right. <clears throat> All right, I can do this. <clears throat> Hi. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, humans. Ah, this is different. Um, <clears throat> I am Emma Woodhouse. And I am back. <laughs> so? This is what it's gonna be like now, huh? We'll get used to it. <laughs> I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Well, it will be good for Emma. Right. Right. But an entire documentary crew, it, it seems a little overboard. Overboard, that's what this is. An entire documentary crew, no offense, but what was wrong with our old format? The documentary crew will capture more of what's going on here at the office. They'll be able to follow us around while we work and the audience will get a greater perspective of all of us. It's not just about Emma anymore. I hate it. Don't you think Emma's been, you know... What? Regressing? Yeah, a little. When the Anne Elliot engagement started falling apart, it seemed like she was back to her old bad habits, right, Alex? Yeah. Okay. Harriet makes good points. Maybe she's onto something. Maybe this documentary is a good thing. Business? Honestly, business hasn't been great the last few years, so we've had to move out of our offices, and here we are in a home office. I love it. It's super cute, homey, and the view is amazing. We've also decided to take Emma approved public, which means a lot of paperwork and red tape. So the next month is the key window where we have to prove growth and sustainability to our shareholders. Thanks, Harriet. Welcome. Uh, what's up with Emma since the failed Ann Elliott engagement? She's been trying to meditate. <laughs> Keyword is try. I wish Emma wouldn't take it so hard. No matter what we did, the Ann Elliot wedding was doomed. Ann Elliot decided that ultimately she didn't want to marry Freddie Wentworth, and they broke up. Sometimes a relationship is meant to be, and sometimes it's not. No. Oh. <clears throat> Dear Ann Elliot, I. Emma Woodhouse, vow to dedicate my life to see to it that you and Mr. Wentworth are happily married. <laughs> You'll regret it for the rest of your life if you do not go through with this. I will stop at nothing to see you walk down the aisle, even if I have to tie you up and drag you down the altar myself. <laughs> I am Emma Woodhouse, and I will not fail you ever. Do you hear me? Please call me to discuss. Hey! You don't want to send that. Oh, yes, I do! No. Stop! Hey. Ah, ah. No. no! Alex! So, doing a, another documentary may not be enough for Emma. I think, uh, I think she might need something more. Wait, a new client? 
I don't need a new client. I already have a client. Her name's Anne Elliott. Okay, Emma. Mm. We need to move on from that. Excuse me? No, what I need is a new approach. Anne will come through, you'll see. Oh, oh, what you need to do is move on from your old client and find a new one. Okay, look. You gotta get back on your game. Okay, there are, there are other people out there that need your help. Like, who? Well, imagine for a second there's, there's a man in his mid-thirties, and he just left his company, and he's looking for a complete life makeover. So, is this like an imaginary man, or like a real man? A, a real man. Mm. Are you interested? You know what? I will take Alex's imaginary real man and make over his life. And after I'm done with him, this client's life will be so amazing that there will be books written about him and his greatness. And do you know who else will be in that book? Me! Hmm. <laughs> ah, oh, this setup isn't that bad. It's quiet, peaceful. And they're right. I could use this. Greetings, oh! Mrs. Woodhouse. Oh, I observe that you are surprised to see me. Please allow me to explain. I am Mr. Richard Collins, 